Well, you guys missed it. I had a really, really cool shot, but I forgot to poke the button. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Last time we did a little bit of wandering, got ourselves into Ash Canyon, did a cheesy goat over to Homesteaders Respite, and then kind of climbed a rope or two and got over to Miner's Folly, where we finally found a few ptarmigans. And then, well, I thought I had the button pushed this morning when I went outside to go look over here, but we'll kind of have a discussion about it. So... We know found, we found that there was some ptarmigans that spawned right here. And something that I have seen in my other playthroughs, or at least other people's playthroughs and my playthroughs, is if you walk through a spawn area and then turn around and come right back or give it a couple of seconds and then come right back, um, they'll spawn back. So if you had one that flew away, well, come back outside the next morning and try to do some kind of thing, interaction with their spawn point. So what I did was I went over there to the little cave where the... Um, the little moss bed is and then looking for see whether or not we got the polaroid which newsflash we didn't and then walk back through it and he was sitting right here the thing that you didn't get to see is that i missed the first shot and then i caught it mid-air so sad days had by all whatever we'll have to see about trying that again apparently if they fly right at you or if you're really good about guessing where they're gonna go you can get them in midair. So anyhow, I went ahead and cooked him up. We now have 11. We need one more bird, I do believe, to be able to make the improvised, and I'm gonna have to find it, improvised bed roll. No. Oh, well shoot, yes, that, 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 that does not make me mad at all then. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and take care of that little problem too. So we have a comparison that we can do right now. Uh, where is my bedroll? Bedroll currently says, uh, if we place this down, place this down somewhere, where can I put it? Can I put it like right there? Okay, we have a 0.8 degree warmth bonus right now on this. So that's what it's going to do Granted, it could probably be a little bit better if we were to repair this. So then if I go ahead and add some ptarmigan down to it, which is very handy. This was something, I, like I said, this is going to be my new let me get it right now kind of thing when we have a, when we start a new interloper. I need to find food. For three hours of your time, a little bit of cloth, and what was that, 10? So... Two and a half birds, you end up with a thing that weighs just a little bit more. What I love about it is it's not a whole lot more to weigh, but the fun part is now it's almost double. <laughs> That's a lot of warmth bonus that you can count on very, very, very early in game. Yes, it's not as good as a bearskin bedroll. Uh, bearskin, 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 bearskin. I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah, it doesn't tell you this. It, it's the problem that I have again with this one is how much it weighs, and the fact that it requires a bare skin every single time you want to repair it, which is not a big deal. But all this takes now to repair, if I need to repair it, it well, you can't see it. It takes a piece of cloth and some down feathers, which means we're gonna have to kind of carry some ptarmigan down in our pockets all the time. But again, no big deal on that point. They don't weigh a lot. So you go hunt a bunch of those up and you're good. Um, we're now kind of messed up at this point. I was not expecting to be indoors this whole time. I was actually going to sit down and cook a few things. So let's see how the weather is outside, see how our viewing is. I do not want to carry this stuff with me because I don't have any oil. I don't have the ability to use it. Um, one thing I will say is if you're going to cook potatoes on the stove or the fire that is an indoor variety, kind of like this, and you zone and come back into the building, the bug still exists where the potato will be removed from the stove and hung in the middle of the air in front of you. So uh, sadly, I did not get that on camera either, but that was supposedly supposed to have been fixed and is not. So if you're going to cook potatoes, uh, don't zone or don't bother cooking them, at least for the time being. Uh, let's go over here, now that we have the two things that I wanted from the ptarmigans, amazing, and go see what we see. Now, once they despawn, or once you hunt all of them out, so like, the f there'll be a day in between all of the respawns on those. From what I have seen, they return in about the same amount of time as a rabbit does, so in four or five days, we can come back up here, and they'll probably be there but not like I'm really worried about it. I know where there's a pile of them, again, stated. 
So let's see if we can keep from running into Mr. Bear. I want to get down here and look at this stuff. We're going to leave some things curing in that cabin for now. And uh, I want to kind of go over here and pick up the, the random respawn crap that happens around this thing. Because I've kind of used up some of our firewood and I don't have any more sticks. Are you around, Senior Bear? Don't think so. He's headed back to his cave. Okay. Um, for those of you also that don't know, all of the scrap junk firewood that falls around this thing, so this uh, reclaimed wood that you see around the outside of it, uh, this building periodically sheds firewood, so if you pick the firewood up and move it indoors, it will respawn. So let's go check the box. Are we going to get it? No. I'd love to know what they did with the stem in this zone. I would really love to know what the, they did with the stem in this zone. I don't want it, don't want it. That can stay in there for right now. I think actually all of these buildings, any piece of uh, reclaimed firewood that you see or reclaimed wood that's laying around at the bottom of them, if you pick it up, it will respawn over time. Unless that's been fit, that's a bug and that's been fixed too. No backpack this time. No flare. And the note. Pick it up. Thank you. There's a key. Um, Should have read that before I put it away. Notes. Recent note. Let me see. Memento. Select. Uh, I'll be for a while. Raid my catch as you please. That's down at Anglers. We'll go deal with that eventually. Okay. What else have we got going on in here? I think we found that in the beginning of the other <laughs> run that we had, didn't we? Uh, and a can opener. Nice. I don't want it. it no, not anymore. We're, we're fine. Is there anything else good in here? We get to the trail boots. Not really very good. Nothing up on top of the deal. Is that an actual advanced guns guns? Wow. Thought I saw that. That's interesting. Cool. I mean, not for us, but whatever. All right, I want to say that we're probably going to head towards, somehow I'm already down a degree. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, we may need to go find some rabbits. All right, well, let's go look around a little bit more. And I think probably head towards the mine very, very shortly. It's not that late, but I don't want to be out wandering around in this. We don't have a lot of food is the only problem. Maybe if there's a deer corpse over here, we can cut on it and get us a little bit of food. Maybe lay up some stuff. Or maybe we'll walk right into a bear. I don't know. I feel like they moved this one. There used to be a, a prop deer corpse in this valley right here, and it has, I've not seen it in a while, unless they put it in a different location. Again, don't want to bother Mr. Bear, but we do need some firewood, at least some sticks. God dang, he scares me every single time. Where are you, buddy? I don't have the firewood to cook any of you. Don't have the firewood or the time. I mean, I have all the time in the world. I don't know what I'm saying. We're fine. I just don't have the ability to cook a lot of them because there's not a lot of wood right here right now. You were coming to check me out, weren't you? We got 
got enough water. How close can I get? How close can I get? You're gonna go over there? Okay. Let's just keep moving for right now. We have stuff here. We may decide to come back and take care of him. May or may not. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Let's go see what we can do. Let's go towards... We'll go towards the cave. Uh, pick stick. Pick stick. You don't have any firewood on you. I think I've got like two pieces of coal left. Yeah, and a piece of wood. So yeah, we need sticks and all that kind of fun stuff. You have food. Where is it? And we're probably getting ready to see the storm change. Aren't we? Come on. Yep, there it goes. That's all right. We can go to the cave. Not this cave, but the next cave. Oh, it's getting dark out here. I'm going for shelter. Well, we're going to sleep in the cave. Don't worry about it. might borrow the rope. Although I don't think I'm gonna borrow the rope. That's a bad idea. Cool, let's keep moving, we're good. It's not gonna be that bad. I mean, she's just, there's shelter right around the corner here. We'll just go to the cave. Uh, I suppose if I'd run it out a little bit, I could actually sleep a little bit without having to pass time. down there good all right we're gonna go over here and see about climbing down this rope which would mean that way I don't have to worry about going through to the wolf mess down here if we go through into this cave and do all this cave work then we can do what I want to do which is go back over the top of high meadow down to Climbers do a little bit of wandering over there and then go to anglers and then go out. Cool. I'm actually debating on whether I need to go to the summit at all, even. Um, yeah, let's go this way. There's food right around the corner. Chill out. Likely gonna be a wolf and a deer in here. And a person. Because that's what that looks like. I hate the new fuzz they put on these things. It's so hard to see stuff with. Hmm, okay. Uh yeah, why not? Make a make a make a make a fire. Put this out. Okay, sprain affliction. That doesn't mean anything. We can just walk off the back, right? So I think I got it. How do I do this one normally? Do I go around the corner here and then up over on this one? Something kind of like that. Up on top of the rock, get another height. It, 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 you kind of just wiggle up this hill and it'll eventually let you up on top of something. There it goes. And then you can just kind of, come on, then walk down the back side of it. Come on. There you go. Yeah, it's not that far. There you go. What do we got down here? 
Well, I got a guy with some ketchup chip, a, a nice, probably full torch, who knows? We'll see, and anything in the fellow new at all. Yeah, there's, I don't know where the deer corpses is at anymore. They're not even around, but yeah, let's go do a little bit of look-seeing around. I'm gonna just drop those right there. That'll be a usable place for us maybe someday. And please, by all means, let's load up a little bit on coal. We don't have any. Well, I mean, that, that'll be like, what, four pieces now. So we'll walk most of this. There should be a couple of more pieces down here a little bit. Plus a backpack. More chips. Thank you. That's great. We were kind of out of food. Kind of. Not really. I mean, I guess I could have hunted a bear and we could have had all kinds of bear meat, but eh. No big deal at this point. It's nighttime anyway, and we're doing what we can with what little energy we've got. need you to wonder about things just need you to do okay cool so we got us a little bit of firewood finally what did we end up with uh eight pieces plus that and that good deal that'll work for a minute and because we kind of wandered around everything we don't have to go through that waterfall which is kind of neat we also don't have to mess with the wolves that are on the other side of that cave entrance so i'm gonna walk back up to the other end of this we're gonna lay down in that little spot right underneath the rope and then continue on in the morning all righty then let's try that that didn't take but half a day we only have half a day to get over there Oh, this game sometimes. It's fine. It's okay. We'll live. But let's go see what we find along the way. Probably not much more than several saplings like always. And again, I'll probably just leave them sit like I always do. Because I'm not planning on climbing the rope. We will always come back the same way. Those three ropes are for those of you that play a lot lower difficulty than, than me. So, <laughs> no way, Jose. I mean, I climbed down them, but that's about all I'd do. And we might end up with the sun out here in a second. Might try to light a fire, warm up some teas. That would be nice. Okay, one rabbit and the fire generally that fire doesn't have anything of use other than a little bit of food when there is not a camp up here and you're gonna let me have it all right uh just do a stick and then we'll warm a tea or two all right and since we have it we'll go ahead and take a torch that'll help a little bit None of these times I want to try starting a fire, but I want to put the teas down first and see if they take the amount of time that it takes to be starting that fire to warm up. Might try that here in a little bit, just for giggles. Because early fire starting skills kind of suck for the amount of time it takes to start a fire. Like if you, if once you hit fire starting five, or fire starting five, you have a, uh, it's like a 10 minute, almost 11 minute guaranteed fire with a stick. But if you use a stick in anything lower than fire starting five, the stick will generally have anywhere between, you know, five and seven minutes left on the fire. And an average tea at cooking five, warming up or anything like that takes about five minutes to warm up, which means theoretically you could be warming teas while you're cooking things if there's still heat next to the fire. I don't know. Maybe we'll try that in just a second because we're going to have to warm them up again here in a minute anyway. Not that I need to find more strats to make this game even more fun to play. 
but it's cold. Not that bad, though. For the time of day, it's not bad at all, actually. Probably should look at our tea making materials anyway. We have a few, not many. Why don't you pick all this stuff on the way up? We're still kind of have to, we're still gonna have to go play the cold game in in a few locations anyway. I am very much contemplating going to Blackrock too after we get done with Timberwolf because I want something. So we're either gonna find it on the trek out of here in the Deer Clearing Cave, or we're going to find it in the transitional cave to Blackrock, or we're going to find it in the transitional cave. Uh, between, uh, da, 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 da. come on, brain, uh, transfer pass or not transfer pass. Uh, the that thing over there that man, I can't for the life of me remember map. Um, right, I don't have that. Uh, keepers pass north and south. There's something to be found. Or interlopers that everybody else has had for a while which I kind of want with this one yeah I know it's cold we're gonna make another fire very shortly I want to test something gotta wait for these to go cold though they're cold that one's cold that one's hot let's just drink that one we'll get over here That was kind of spooky for a second there, wasn't it? Kind of the, the bridge waving in and out of our, our character. <laughs> I wonder how hard it would be to actually code you to walk, or to, to sway with that bridge. And we'll leave the firewood over there for later. Oh, you're fine. My goodness, woman. All right, sounds like the deer is here, maybe. Is he here? No. So to verify, okay, so it is this Vista. All right, that's nice. Um, I don't really want this one, but that's fine. Let's go see if the other Polaroid is over here. Now we've got a lot of things we need to go look at as far as this zone is concerned there's quite a few things to find now uh, i do want to go find the bunker in this zone because i do want to do a couple other things no <clears throat> container this time nice okay uh let's go around the corner pick up a couple of more teas maybe another stick sticks are life so is free firewood at this point. Fine, whatever. That's okay. It's not what I wanted. We'll pick it up on the way back. Next. Okay. What do you bet we get in the fun corner over here? I say a rope in a book that I can't read. I'm starting to feel numb. A lantern. And a book, which can stay right there. And I think we were already cooking five, so that doesn't matter anything past there. That's a kind of a neat little place to find things occasionally. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and toss a warm up fire down right here. And I wanna test something, are they cold? Put you down, put you down, put the fire down and then start a fire. Come 
Come on, little fire. Come on. No. Okay. Well, that's what I needed to know on that point. It's all right. We need torches. And I might just go ahead and cook another tea or two. Do we get the matches? This is a warm area too, for those of you that don't know. It's not very wind protected, but it's warm. Gosh darn it. That's okay, we don't need it. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Did I just duplicate a T? No, it just didn't show up for whatever reason. Huh, okay. That was odd. Um, we need more torches. Grab torches. We have to make it to the next line before this next pile of storm comes in. And of course I didn't get it. How far are we away from fire starting five? Seriously, this is getting annoying. Uh, several fires. Okay, whatever. Let's go see what we can do. Container this time? Nope. off some of this firewood over here because I'm pretty sure we're probably kind of heavy and if there's any coal in here I want to at least pick it up because it might respawn in the time it takes for us to go to the mine and back so grab everything that's gonna be of use so that you can come back and recover <laughs> plunk all that down and that and everything except two because there's a lot of coal in that and we can drop all those sticks or at least most of them all right so that got us clear past the rope which is nice which means we can we can bring a bunch of things out of that hole now bunch of things granted we're going to end up with the thing with the uh the backpack in just a couple of minutes but i know there's a bunch of stuff down here i do want fine it don't matter just go ahead and put that down grab oh. a new torch use we're getting ready to have some nasty weather which is not amazing I guess I could climb down, but we save the save the stamina once we get down there. There's some stuff I want to attend to almost immediately. I don't see anything else good over here. Sometimes there's another sapling right around the corner. No, not today. Okay, down down the hill we go. I don't know why you climb downhill so fast when you crouch looking sideways, but you do. Okay. 
Are they here? Yes, they are. I think. Yep, I see the little burby burbs. <laughs> and no rabbits. Huh, interesting. Let's go over here since we have a fire. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, can I get through here? No, I was gonna say I want to find a spot that's somewhat sheltered. I think the only sheltered place is in the actual mine. But I have a, a match that I'd like to hang on to. Uh, and I gotta go over here to do that. Let's go over here, light this barrel up. We'll put some water on. Um, there should be fuel right here. So we'll try to save that fire and then we'll go get some birds and then we'll go get our backpack. Uh, don't hey, match is nice. Cool. Anything right here available, necessary, no food at all? No? Great. Uh, have cattail. And we go find some burbs. Probably should have made a tea, but whatever. How bad is this doing? We probably have like three or four more shots left on it, so let's go see what we can do before the storm comes in. They actually provide a reasonable amount of food, which is kind of why I'm very interested in harvesting them when I can. Let's see how bad of a job I can do today. It's a kind of a crappy spot. Maybe I need to go over here. Spread out a little bit more, please. You gonna stop? Nope. No, nope, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. His friend just walked by him. Stop. You stop. You're causing problems. So those two guys right there are too close to each other. And those two are too close to each other. And those two, clo two are close to each other. Where are we with Bo? Long way to wait. I need to go find that book. All right, let's see about... We're still too close to each other. Come on, guys. I need dinner. And the rabbits aren't out. At least I don't think. This is why I like them, though. They sit still. However, again, I think those two guys are way too close to each other. You're going to come clear down here. Nope, 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 nope. His friend was going to walk by him. scared that one. Dang it. He looked right at me. That's fine. Three is good enough for the moment. That's 1,500 calories. Cool. Okay, let's go check the corpse out, go inside. Hopefully we didn't burn water off. That didn't, no, there's no way that took two hours, but you never know. Heather. Nope. We'll go grab those saplings. Thank 
you. We're probably going to be leaving this bow behind. Because it's probably like two or three hits from dying at this point. Where is it? Uh, no. Why would you change to that one immediately? Now, I will say the, uh, the fire-hardened arrows for those kinds of things... Um, these arrows, when you shoot them, they drop, so you kind of have to account for the drop on them. Fire-hardened arrows, at least from what I can tell, do not drop nearly as badly as uh, these do because they don't weigh as much. So um, physics do work in this game like that. So if you're trying to shoot them, or like say, if you're trying to get to uh, Ptarmigans early in-game, like if you've got this, then probably the better option is to be shooting them with the fire hardened arrows because they do not drop nearly as badly which will make it a little bit easier to hunt them at least early when you get bow five you can walk right up to the thing and shoot it right in the face unfortunately how did we do with our water 20 minutes perfect that should be enough time to uh, make a little bit of dinner They're actually worth hunting over rabbits. That's 500 calories. Yeah, it's almost 600 calories by the time you get it done. That's amazing. That's, that. like I said, that's just three ptarmigans. Ptarmigans pretty much filled us up almost from the beginning. So let's go get our bag, and then I'll take care of the rest of these guys. Oh, shoes off, please. We don't want to get our feet wet. You can drink some water. That'll help with a little bit of the load. All right. Backpack time. How many sticks do we have on us? I have one. Unfortunately, I can't do it. I was going to say, I mean, I guess we could make some firewood and make some torches and then pull torches and make fire or sticks out of torches. I might just go try to make a few of those arrows just for the giggles. I've tried them a couple of times. I'm not a huge fan because they only have like two uses. So you can kill two animals with it or miss once. But like if you shoot it at a wolf... It'll break when it hits the wolf, which they're they're okay. I just I think your feathers are better used in other methods. Hello. Gloves. Anything in the drawer? Nothing. Lantern fuel. We have a few pieces of stuff. We have fish, which we can just go ahead and eat. Candy bar for the road. Tomato soup that is in not great shape. Go ahead, just light that fire, and then we will pick up our friend. Come on, little fire. Wow, oh, I haven't failed a fire in a long time. Cool. Go. Come on, little fire. Nice. Oh. Uh, do that, and then I'm going to pull some junk torches. I think we need five sticks. Uh, yeah. I know it's back there. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I can carry much more. There's my notepad. Thank you very much. And we get a new pair of those, which is even better. Let me do let me do this real quick. How long have we got? 30 minutes? Let's make five sticks.
Okay, how long does it take to craft those things? Takes 45 minutes with a... Yeah, we need a little bit more firewood. Um, how long does that take to break down? Break that down. That should be enough. That should add an hour, or pretty close to an hour. 45 minutes. Dang it! This is the problem with this area. Give me one more torch. Oh. All right, let's see about making us some stuff. So you crafting fire hardened arrows with provised knife, 29 minutes, go. And we will try those out tomorrow. Well, I should say in the next episode. <laughs> on the bird out front so uh, again we're gonna keep doing these two first so i'm gonna just try to do a week and a week in case we have another uh update that comes up so i will see you all in the next one thank you so much for watching what do we get in the box a bandage stump remover i really don't need this thank you see you guys